I do that you don't even realize is a problem. Kansas communities are fighting a new vaping problem. How people are getting rid of the devices is the issue there. Yeah, but with little guidance, what are you supposed to do? Fact Fighter investigator Haley Tucker explains. You probably throw stuff away every day without thinking twice about it. But if you're throwing this out, you're technically violating federal law and causing headaches. Many people use them every single day, but once you're done with an e-cigarette, what are you supposed to do with it? Many people just throw them away. But did you know this tiny device that you just tossed is causing huge problems for your local trash service? It's the lithium battery that officials are concerned about, and they're everywhere. E-bikes, cars, hoverboards, and e-cigarettes. They all use them. They can cause fires, some of which have caused injuries and even death. Just this week, one sparked and caught fire in a California home, which then caused explosions. Here in Wichita, the fire department says crews just dealt with a lithium fire on one of the city's electronic buses. And in these, they may seem small, but can be just as dangerous. So what are you supposed to do with it? The lithium battery is uh, new enough that people are still thrown away that a lot of that information has not gone out yet. Cody Corbett, you know, operations sure supervisor at Sedgwick that. County's Household <laughs> Hazardous Waste Facility, <laughs> says you can drop the devices off for free. We recycle them just like we do any other lithium battery. We use this company called Recycle. I believe they're out of Georgia. They do take them from us for free because we are taking the batteries from the general public. It actually saves us a ton of money because lithium battery disposal is hugely expensive. Right now, Kansas does not have a law about throwing them out, but Cody says it's important people know the dangers. Just the smoke coming off of it is highly toxic and dangerous. Some of them will explode. They're highly dangerous. Next time you're about to throw one away, think twice. Haley Tucker, 12 News. Drop off vapes and e-cigarettes during business hours at the Hazardous Waste Facility. That's Tuesday through Saturday. We have their business hours on our website and location at kwch.com.